Alrighty, so we are on stream. If you want to be a part of the stream next time, feel free to subscribe. Come by and hang out with us. We normally do streams every time a new character drops on Global. So if you want to come by and hang out for the stream or for the summons, and uh, we do a little bit of PvP, and we'll probably do some final boss uh, Escanor after this, but we normally mess around with new stuff if it's kind of out. But uh, either way, we're messing around with the new king. We got really lucky. We did one multi <laughs> got him, which was kind of insane. Uh, that basically never happens to me. But we're going to throw him in the normal kind of setup here. I'm going to use evasion food. I, I know that I have pretty good CC and everything, but uh, I think that this king actually does pretty good going second because of the shield. If you don't know what he does, we'll read his passive really quickly. Um, creates a barrier around allies equal to 300% of the, uh, the hero's attack for three turns at the start of the battle. So you get a shield at the very beginning. For each applicable ally, which is seven deadly sins and fairy units, um, participating in battle increases those allies damage dealt by 10% if a hero or if a barrier created by the hero is removed from an ally that allies attack related stats are increased by 20% for two turns so uh, we're basically just doing increased damage dealt the holy relic actually gives us a little bit more damage dealt which is kind of nice and we get some basic stats if they don't break the shield uh, and then if they do break the shield then we basically just get an extra attack related stats upgrade so it's he's kind of like the uh, collab Roxy that we had that weren't too... Uh, she was okay. She wasn't like super, super useful, but not like a one-for-one one copy or anything because this king actually does not reapply the shield, which is kind of odd, but we'll see how it goes. So, okay, we have uh, a demon team that is going first. We get an extra merge, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm interested to see how good the shield ends up going here. So he throws maybe a single target out or something. And that'll hit our evasion food. He's using, okay, AOE first, hits our evasion, goes for the AOE here, does not break the shield, which is a little unfortunate because the debuff would have been nice actually, into single target on King. Actually does pretty good damage to him as well. Um, I lucked out here and I actually have double AOE so I can get melee stacks pretty easily here. Ooh, okay, actually not bad damage. Ooh, okay. I think I kill Esterosa. Yeah, easy kill on Esterosa. That's looking pretty good. We still have the shield on these two, which is looking fine. We did not, we, because we killed Esterosa there, he does not pop all creation this turn. He'll have to throw out an extra attack on either melee or um, Bon here, which is kind of nice. So he probably does get all creation off if I had to guess. Yeah, so here's all creation getting popped. Uh, if he has another card, okay, he throws out the single target with Demon King. Does break through the shield. Now we have our attack related stats increase. Okay, he kills off our, our melee, which is not good, of course. Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm I'm pretty confident. Well, would it be better? I think it actually might be better to go for the kill on him, and then we can use the deplete card here on Melly. Because he's going to pop stats next turn and could be a really big pain. Whereas... Because we're actually killing off one of his characters, he's only going to purge two debuffs, and he'll have three stacks. Uh, I mean, it's probably going to be pretty easy for him to... Oh, he was... I'm dead. <laughs> I forgot I was... <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you know how it is. I, uh, I was disabled there. That's unfortunate. Well, okay. I live, somehow into... Of course, he's got an AoE, man. No! Well, that's uh, that's my own fault. That's unfortunate. That would have been a fine play, though. <laughs> okay. Well, rip me. Oh, well. Alrighty, we have another demon team. We actually get to go first here. Um, we don't have... Hmm, I almost wonder... Let's do this. 
this and this. We'll try to kill Melee turn one. I'm not positive we're going to be able to. Uh, actually, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we're more than we're more than okay. So that's good. Um, Demon King has damage cap, of course, which could be a little bit of a problem. We'll see how that goes. Hmm. Okay, we get another bond combo, actually, which is really good. Uh, hmm. Might be... I could triple AoE with Melee, actually, if I really wanted to. And because we went first, he's actually going to pop his Demon King stats next turn. So, like, if we do the triple AoE, we might actually be able to... Okay, he breaks the, uh, the, the shield there, which is good, because I want my attack-related stats, actually. I think I'm going to go for triple AoE here. Uh, that'll disable me, and then I'll cleanse it off at the beginning of next turn, and I'll pop my stats. I'm hoping, best-case scenario here, we kill off um, both of the side units, and then that will make it to where Demon King doesn't get a whole lot of damage off. Okay. Uh, I actually... Okay, I was about to say, I don't know if that's below 50%. It definitely was not, so... Okay, that works out. He's not going to be able to do anything super crazy to me, I don't think. He doesn't even... Okay, he only has level 2 cards at the worst, so... Uh, I should be able to survive that pretty easily. Plus, even if he kills Melly off here, which he does not, uh, I would have been able to Mon Combo, which would have been kind of nice as well, so... That would have worked out for us. Okay, we did not... Oh, I think because we we killed them with the first hit from Melee, we actually do not get to uh, use our all creation here. A bit unfortunate. I almost want to use this and then this. All right. So that is. I'm pretty sure this was a bot anyway, so it's not really like it's that big of a deal. But it's okay. So we'll go ahead and kill, and then we're good to go. I'm actually. I mean. Through the first match, I'm actually kind of impressed by how much damage the King does just on his, like, AoE. Because I'm definitely thinking of him more as, like, a supporty style character. Oh, God. That was not a bot. Uh, apologies <laughs> for calling you a bot. Okay, anyway. We go back in. Alright. Lots of demon teams out and about. Uh, we do get out CC seed here. So he's going first. He does have True Awakening on his Esterosa, which is pretty interesting. We could go triple AoE with Melee. Um, no debuffs for us, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, this one's still not going to break either. He does apply a lot of AoE, though. So he's going to have three stacks on his melee. He does break my shield. I... I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to try to go for the kill on melee. Because he got to go first. Ugh, okay, not great damage there. But, with a full bond combo, yeah, we're looking, we're looking pretty good. So that's fine. That's going to kill Melly off. And then we do still have to worry about Demon King, but he's not going to pop his stats until next turn. So, okay. That actually works out pretty nicely. Because, I mean, honestly, the damage cap would be kind of annoying. But if I can kill off the side units and everything, it's not going to be too bad. And, like, we're not going to have to take that many attacks from Demon King. So, yeah. That was actually, I mean, it kind of works out. I kind of like it. It's not, like, ideal for, like, rushing all creation, like, with the blue king, but still not bad. All right, what do we got? Okay, is this the new king? I assume it's not. I assume this is the old king. Uh, okay, it is. So he's going for all creation first. Uh, we have double single target with king, which is unfortunate. Uh, it doesn't matter that we have evasion food here, because he still ends up putting the stack on, which is a bit sad for us. Oh, Okay, that completely broke the shield with just one attack. That is... Hmm. That might be very bad. Uh, we don't have the level 2 this time. But we'll try to go for the one tap on his melee. We do have the 20% attack related stats. I'm not sure that that's going to be enough. Ooh, yeah, this is not looking great. Uh, I think we're going to be just short. Oh, okay. God, we win. Okay. Well, I don't say we, we're, we're not winning, but that was really good. Okay. We might actually stand a chance. 
He's probably going to be able to kill my melee off, if I had to guess. He's going to be able to throw a shield on, uh, and then bond combo. Uh, hmm. I don't have great cards in hand here. We'll see. Because I assume he kills here. Uh, I'm just better, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that is, that is really something. Okay, well, I guess we go for the level three. That is actually very lucky on my end. Super surprised that I was able to survive that. And, uh, yeah, I have a good AoE, so... I'm not gonna say this is a guaranteed kill, but it's probably pretty good. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was uh, very lucky, obviously. Not going to say that that was good or bad, but very lucky. Alright, so here we have a Fraudren comp, which is probably kind of concerning. Luckily, we have really good AoEs on this team. I think we can go for a kill on Melee. Evasion food. Ah, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill Melee with just one bond combo. Ah, okay, never mind. Actually looking really good. He will... He will pop... Ult or Well, not ultimate, but he will pop stats. Not this turn, but next turn for Demon King. Which could be pretty concerning, considering... I don't think that there's any way for me to kill him in one turn. So, I think... I think our best bet is to kill Cusack. Because I don't really want him to... Well, I do have Ult Drain card. So maybe we go... Maybe we go AoE, AoE, Ult Drain. This will disable us. So, here's this. Okay, we do kill Cusack, which is really good. And then level 2 ult drain here is going to remove two, two ults, or two ult gauge. I do like that animation. It's very reminiscent of the, uh, I think it's the Red Glocks card, where, like, his boss kiosk or whatever, like, hits the ground. It's pretty cool looking, actually. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck. All right. He's got a good single target here does not kill, which is really good for me. Uh, I don't have the combo, but he forfeits, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, I've got one more ticket, so I might as well go ahead and throw it in. I'm not hating on it so far. I actually think that it's kind of cool. Alrighty, we have another demon team. Uh, ooh, okay. Good, good CC. He's in SSQ, which is a, a pretty high-level guild, I want to say. Works good as a support? Yeah, I think so. I don't really think he's supposed to be, like, big damage dealer. Although, uh, I am a little impressed by his pierce damage. It's actually not not bad at all, so that's really nice. Uh, this guy has all three characters true awakened, so that is definitely interesting. Um, hmm. I don't necessarily know how this is going to go. I, I want to go for the, the first turn kill on melee, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to pull that off. Like, I, I, so far, it's been pretty consistent to a certain extent, but not overly, you know? Um, he's going to pop true magic, or uh, all creation next turn, so I pretty much need to go for it this turn, since he's only got one, one uh, dark energy on at the moment. That looks good, I think. Ooh, that looked kind of close, actually. That wasn't too bad. Is this global? It is global. Would you rather eat 72 fruit roll-ups or 10 large cans of Ready Whip in one sitting? 30-minute time limit. <laughs> fruit roll-ups, I guess. <laughs> what a question. I like that. All right, all right, all right. Uh, will this king be on future banners? Only have 600 gems and saving for melee costumes. I, yeah, he should be on like seasonal banners and stuff like that in the future. So I wouldn't worry too much if I was you. 
Um, but, you know, seasonal banners can be kind of annoying sometimes. How'd your summons go? Pretty good, Dreamer. We actually got him on the very first multi, so I really can't complain. We finally got lucky. My god, he's bald. I am bald. Alright, so, let's go for... Let's just go for the triple AoE play this turn, because that should, hopefully, be enough to kill the side units off here. I'm not positive on that. Ooh, uh, I'm hoping so. Yeah, okay. So, Demon King's going to be kind of low. He... He is going to get a gold card. Well, okay. I... Well, I don't know. Maybe it would have been a lost cause for him, but... There might have been a chance there, but either way, five consecutive wins is not bad at all, I have to say. I think he's actually kind of cool. Obviously, like, my my CC and stuff like that is contributing a lot, so kind of take that, of course, with a grain of salt. But the fact that I don't have to invest into any costumes, because he's, he's using the old King's costumes and stuff like that, is very nice. So, very cool. If you already have uh, Blue King invested into, could be a nice little pickup, but I don't know if he's worth, like, going out of your way for considering what's going on. We'll have to see what the new Gloxenia does whenever he gets his LR, if that ends up being the case. Uh, but we should know about that on Wednesday, whenever the patch starts to So, either way, that is it for the YouTube video showcase. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to be part of the, the stream next time we're, you know, messing around, feel free to subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. So, that's cool. See you then.